Hello everybody, my name is Alex Rednick and today I'm going to be doing an airsoft collection or arsenal video rather and yeah so this gun and this gun yeah one second through this gun to this gun pretty much these three right here those are my brothers along with that high cap right there those guns are my brothers pretty much everything else is mine so yeah, I guess we'll just get started. The first gun we're gonna look at is this one. It's a combat machine. I don't know what kind or anything. But oh, one second. <laughs> you can see my stomach. Um, but the stock. This is not stock that came with it. This is stock that I had on my other M4, but this piece fell off of it. So I just replaced the stock that was on this and put it on my other gun. And no one really uses this gun much, anyways. So, yeah, I just replaced it, and I don't even think he's noticed yet. Did I just... Okay. And the orange muzzle can come off. It is threaded. As you can see, and you can throw a suppressor on there. I'm not going to take it off all the way. And it's got some flip-up iron sights. And it's also got a ridiculous rate of fire. And I will be doing a video where I shoot all these guns. So you can see how fast they are. And there is the hop up. This next one is another combat machine. Once again, I don't know what kind, but this one is this one's got a red dot sight. Here, a second. Let me. Got a red dot right there. Turn it off. Right. And the batteries go in the handguard, unlike the other one where the batteries go in the stock. And the stock on this one is this kind, I don't know, kind, some sort of retractable kind. Yeah, this is not a good angle. And it's also got that right there. And. That is the hop up here in a second. I'm sorry, it's still low quality. But the. It did come with the suppressor, but the suppressor broke. And my dogs are going crazy for no reason. Because I'm the only one home and I'm filming right now. Bob, pay chase. Hi. Hi, pay chase. But yeah. It did come with a suppressor, but the suppressor is no longer on it. But we do have two more suppressors, but the, we're, we'll get into those in a minute. And, yeah. Now, this one, the only thing I know about it is that it's a combat machine raider. That's the only thing I know about it. I remember someone saying something about it being a raider. And it's got, this is the only gun we have with this kind of iron sight. And I think it's really cool. I don't know why, but it's just cool. Okay, that's, that's as good as it's gonna get, I'm sorry. And, you know, it's, it's acting on an electric blowback as well. Yeah, it's an electric blowback, and the cool thing about this one is, here, I'll set my phone up somewhere. The cool thing about this is that if you hold this back right here, and it's like a real M4 or AR-15, you can close it and it walks back like that. And then you just push the button on the other side. And it shoots forward like that. And so it's got a foregrip on it. And it's other than the locking back feature is not too special. Let me get up. Next thing we have is a, I think, marketed. It. It's called the RK47 Black. But I'm... I just call it my AK-47. And this, it doesn't have any attachment rails. This is not a very good AK for attachments. But performance-wise, it's not too bad. Yep. You hop up, you have to adjust with a screwdriver, unfortunately. This one has to have a lot of screwdrivers for as well. And 
it's a fixed stock, and the batteries go in here, and you have to use a screwdriver to get those out. And, yeah. I'm sorry, I can't really get a good angle. With this. I'll do a different angle at the end of this video. It's got a semi-auto, full auto, and obviously safe. But yeah. Next is a gun that you guys have all seen. Who the few people that do watch this video. Most of you guys have seen this at some point. This is the weapon I always use. The sniper rifle. <clears throat> Let me, uh, let me unfold the stock real quick. It does not have the scope on it right now, but it is my bolt action sniper rifle. And I've talked about it plenty of times, and I'll continue to talk about it. This is my sniper that I use mainly, and it served me really well for, especially for a starter sniper rifle. I think it's around like 200 bucks for a starting gun, for a starter. I don't know. And the cool thing about this is, if you, yeah, even if you are not a newbie and you, you've been into the sport for a while, you could take it apart and put VSR 10 parts into it. So, yeah. But this one is a little messed up because I, I don't know, I hit the stock a couple times on something. And it gets really weird sometimes. But, you know, every gun has its kinks. And, yeah, you guys have usually seen it with the scope on it, but I took it off for the video. And whenever I put it in storage, it never has a scope on it. <clears throat> and my final weapon is my M4, which I haven't really talked about much. I don't, I don't even know if there's a video on my channel about this gun yet. This is my main assault rifle. I'm going to get a good angle with this. It's custom painted camo. And here's the old stock that went on my brother's old M4. Got a flashlight right there. Got a flashlight on it. And it's got a folding spring loaded, or it's a folding spring rear iron sight. I don't know what exactly it's called, but it's just the easiest way I can describe it. It's also got a foregrip and it's painted a little bit. It's not the best paint, but it's better than none. And there's a hop up. And yeah, it, it's not special. The barrel is threaded. It did come with a suppressor when I bought it. I bought it used. It came with a suppressor. The suppressor is also painted, and I'll show you the suppressor here in a minute. We're going to go through the pistols and then we'll go into that. I'm sorry, it's so low quality. I'm just. I'm not in the best shape to be doing this. I'm not saying I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm I'm making it feel at the worst possible time. Anyways, we'll go on to the high kappa. My brother's high kappa. So extreme forty five high kappa and it is only full auto. There's no semi auto with this. So if you're going to semi only games with this and only this, you're probably gonna get kicked out. And, yeah. The slide does not lock back. I'm actually holding it with my finger. It does not lock back. But, yeah. And the magazine is right over here with it. And, yeah. Now, this is the gun that... Uh, this used to be my main pistol. But it broke in so many ways. It's not even fixable at this point. Like, the trigger... Yeah, I want to say the... Trigger assembly is not even in it anymore because it broke so badly. I got two trigger assemblies for it. Well, it came with the original, obviously, and then I, it broke, so I went, got it fixed, and then after that it broke again. And I'm this gun it was a starting pistol, one hundred dollars. You know, I knew it wasn't gonna last. It is good. It's great for a starter pistol, but the way I treated it is it terrible. And honestly, if you're like a regular airsoft player and you want to get into it, this is a pistol you want. But the way I treat my guns back then, now I treat them nicely, but, you know. Back then I didn't know too much about airsoft and this thing broke in too many ways. Like here, I'll take it apart for you and show you the, 
trigger or something. We ended up taking the trigger assembly out of it and we just never put it back in. So sitting there in the trigger, don't even go back forward and push it forward with your finger. We just took it out because, you know, we weren't going to use it anymore. The slide, it's still in perfect condition. It's got scratches and stuff, but that's because it was used. Well, we bought it brand new, but yeah. And we also switched it to full auto, if you can't see the switch right there. Well, now it's on semi, but yeah. We've used this thing on full auto more than semi. One second. But yeah. I do have a video on my channel of me using this thing in full auto and semi auto. And yeah. Like, see, the mag release, it's not even there anymore. I don't even know how that broke. But yeah. And it is green gas powered, just like the high cap. I never mentioned that. Green gas powered. Don't quote me, but. There is a chance it does take Glock magazines. I do not know. So do not quote me on that. And now we got my most recent pistol, which is a great starting pistol. But even people that are not starting off, they still use this thing. The Elite Force 1911 Tactical. I have a threading on there for... Honestly, I had it for a suppressor originally. But my holster would not work for the suppressor. I did have another holster I used, but whenever I would use that holster, the suppressor would hit me in the knee. So, I just took the suppressor off, and now I just leave the setting on for aesthetics. And I just think it looks cool. And this is the pistol I still use, and the hammer, part of it actually broke, but it's still usable. Like, here. One second. Sorry. 